Welcome back. Our next guest is the comic book artist and the founder of Verse Comics. Verse Comics. And he joins us uh, all the way from Bloomfield, Michigan. We call it the D. <laughs> he's going to speak about his passion for art and highlight the work that he's doing. Please welcome to the show, B. Van Randall. All the way from the D, the Blade Icewood Dance. <laughs> from the Blade Icewood. <laughs> they still doing the Icewood Dance over there? Blade Icewood Dance is what they do in the D. How you doing, Bob? <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> hey, man, welcome. So talk about some of the work that you're doing over there. I just, uh, I'm a writer, and uh, I'm actually a screenwriter by trade. Um, I'm an English major. I always did creative writing back in college. And um, at some point uh, back in 2016, I decided to dive into the world of comic books and graphic novels because I was always a fan of them as a boy. Um, I just it, saw it as a way for me to sort of get my screenplay ideas out to the public, um, maybe do like a proof of concept type yeah. thing and just kind of like started off as like a slow roll. But then things started taking off, uh, started partnering with certain celebrities and um, influencers and started getting a lot more recognition. Then the awards started rolling in. And so now we're just trying to uh, upscale our company, um, take it to the next level and see if we can start uh, making some of these uh, Hollywood plays. Yeah, there you go. So you started from the bottom, now you're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here, Bob. <laughs> yeah. So you start out with comic books. Talk about the, your very beginnings. So my very beginnings, uh, like I said, I used to be a big fan of comic books as a kid. Um, yeah. And then I had this idea for Therians, which was a uh, story about these werewolves from Africa and how they were brought over to America during the transatlantic slave trade um, unwittingly. And so I used to tell the story to my wife, to my family, and uh, they, they thought it was an amazing story. And so I sat down. I didn't know anything about doing a comic book, even though I used to read them all the time. Yeah. And so uh, it was trial and error. <laughs> I, uh, I scoured the internet looking for artists, uh, found an artist who's still my business partner, Jarrell Treat to this day. And so uh, I could write, but I couldn't really draw. And so uh, Jarrell teamed up with me. He saw my vision, he believed in it. And so we sat down and we put Therians together. And uh, that, that, that story has been sort of carrying verse since then, but back then we weren't called verse back then we were called straight city. And, uh, then later we, uh, changed the name of the company to verse, uh, yeah. mainly because of the idea of partnering with hip hop artists. Um, and then also having a double meaning of us creating our own universe. Yeah. So now verse comics. So you're involved yes, with this 50 years of hip hop thing, right? With the with the you said the fifty years of hip hop. Yeah, you're involved. You're in it because this has something to I'm do not, with hip hop. Man. I mean, well, I guess you could say so. Yeah, because we do have some notables. Like you know, uh, we got the project with Yuck Mouth. Yuck Mouth is a classic. You know, I got five on it from back in the day, which actually saw uh, um, it saw a rebirth when Jordan Peele put it in the movie Us. Yeah. Um, but that's a classic. Everybody knows that song. And then there's other uh, rappers, like right now, uh, Twister from out of Chicago and I are talking about doing a project together. So, yeah, I guess you could say, yeah, Verse has become a part of uh, the 50 years of hip-hop. Yeah, man. you're in it. think of it, though. <laughs> and everybody's running around making money from it. You got to run around making money from it, too. So now you're in it. There it is. Boom, you're there in it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, love, talk about love, some of the people who inspired you along the way to help you get where you need to go. Oh, uh, so my one of my biggest inspirations for the type of stories, uh, the kind of stories that I write, I would have to say is, uh, you know, the classic Octavia Butler. I actually I specialize in horror and fantasy writing. So uh, Octavia Butler was just a huge, huge influence on me. I love her stories. Um, yeah. You know, God rest her. Um, and as far as influence on getting verse off the ground, I'll be honest, that was really my wife. She the one pushed me to write Therians uh, when I used to tell her the story orally. Uh, she would literally sit there and listen to the story and 
uh, she said, hey, she said, that's the one. She's like, you write a lot of good stuff. She says, that's the one you need to really focus on. Yeah. That's going to take you far. And, uh, and and I listened to her eventually, uh, not right away, but eventually I listened to her. And when I did, that's when it seems like doors started opening. Um, and next thing you know, you know, the Kresge uh, Award came up, which is a pretty prestigious award here in, in, De- in the Detroit area. And uh, yeah, and then now now a lot of doors are starting to open. But I'm, I'm influenced by, by just great stories. Like one of the things for me is um, I never really like the term black stories. Like I don't like for people to sort of pigeonhole us and put us into a box like that. Yeah. What I tend to try to write, I try to write great stories that tend to just have black characters. That's it. So it, it, it should be a story that anybody should be able to enjoy, right? The, 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 the plot, the, you know, the meaning should be something that should be relatable to all people, except your leads look more like me as opposed to how, how they've looked traditionally. So that's usually my approach yeah. and how I get inspired, you know? So big shout out to your wife. So it's true when they say behind every good man is a good woman. Hey man, I tell you, yes, she, uh, she, she, she pushed me, man. She, and then I, you know, I have a tendency I'll, I'll get diverted. I'll try to go off and, and I, I you know, but this was better. And this was, and she just kept telling me, she's like, no, that's, that's your one. That's the one you need to really uh, focus on. That's. And, uh, when I, when I started listening, man, uh, you know, the rest, <laughs> the rest became history. Started, you, got rid of started that, opening. you got rid of that pride, right? The pride said, uh, Hey, and man, it started happening, yeah. right? <laughs> but listen, That's right. That's did you ever right. revisit the werewolves from Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my main one. Um, so I got stuff out with like the, the Instagram star Ha Ha Davis. I got, like I said, Yuck Mouth from the Loonies. Um, but I, but the, the Therians is is the one that I won the um, Kresge Award behind. Yeah. Um, we're actually doing a reboot to that one now. So back in 2016, like I just told you, we were kind of fumbling through not really knowing how to put together a comic book, not really knowing the nuances, the ins and outs of it. Um, we've had a lot of years to sort of get, get better. So, uh, and we've recently brought on some investors. So oh, good. now my partner and I are, are rebooting, I guess you can say rebooting the African werewolf one and doing like yeah. a whole of the story. Um, we do have some interest in that story uh, from some some studios in Hollywood. We just were waiting for this whole writer strike to be over with. But um, so yeah, we're in the works of of of, of fo- unveiling that and bringing that back out to the public, and then hopefully we'll see it on the big screen one day. Yeah, you know, you'd be surprised of how many people want to get involved in in what you're doing. What advice would you give to somebody up and coming? I would say. The advice would be to one, um, give yourself grace. You're going to make mistakes, um, you know, and d- don't beat yourself up over the mistakes. Two, uh, I would say partnerships. Uh, I would not have, have been able to do any of this without the partnerships that I've, I've forged. Um, like I said, with Jarrell, uh, with my buddy Nate, um, just guys that are in my corner that are helping me bring the dream um, to fruition. So yeah. you can't do it alone. So get that out of your head. You can't do it alone. Um, and like I said, just give yourself grace because you're going to have some bumps and some hiccups because we're trying to figure this thing out, you know? That's true. Anything coming up? Are you going to be in New York anytime soon? Uh, anything come out, coming up that we you know, should know about? Yeah, I'm planning on it. I think uh, uh, probably like I think it's the first week of uh, November. I might be in New York uh, just kind of visiting but right now, man, I, I got my head down. I'm at, I'm at, I like to write in coffee shops. That's the thing. Even though I got a home office. There's a lot of them over here. The There's a lot of man. them in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love the coffee shop vibe. So yeah. I've just been having, having my head down and just writing every day and just trying to get ready for uh, when, when, you know, and then I got a, a trip coming out to LA. I'm going to be out there. Uh, I got some meetings I'm going to be taking, you know, so I'm just trying to be ready, trying to be ready so I have something to give them. That's good. That's good. So that you, you'll be traveling around and one of your stops is right here in New York. Yes, yes. New York and uh, L.A. Um, in, the, in the foreseeable future, definitely New York and L.A. Yeah. And then, and then with HaHa, ha, uh, we're, we're planning a book tour 
uh, to take his comic book around to different cities. So a lot of that's going right now we're retooling our website. So traditionally our website would be, uh, you would go on and buy our comic books, www.versecomicsusa.com, but we're retooling it because our business model is changing on what we're trying to achieve. So that's going to be, uh, we're going to be unveiling that in the, in the near future, probably within the next month or so. Oh, good. I'll buy a copy of yours. If you buy a copy of mine, I got a, a new one that just dropped people to know in black history and beyond volume three. Oh, so it's wow. a trilogy. Okay. I got a one, Absolutely. two and three. So where can we get your book? You get mine on right Amazon now and all that get, stuff. I'm throwing it out there. But where can we get your yeah, book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you could get you could get uh, Amazon. A couple of our titles are on Amazon. Theorians is on Amazon, but the vast majority of our titles right now are on are on our website uh, www.versecomicsusa.com. So everything is available there. There you go. B. Van Randall, all the way from Bloomfield, Michigan. The D. Yes, sir. Detroit, man. Detroit. Born and raised east side of Detroit. But I'm out here in the suburbs now, man. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> all right, my bro. I, 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 love, I love the city, man. But I had, to get, I had to get away for a minute. We appreciate you, man. Keep doing your thing. We'll see you when you get here. I appreciate you. Okay, Thanks man. for having me, man. I'll keep you in the loop when I'm in town. You got it. Sounds good. All right, we'll take a break. I've got more. We're going to continue to kick it right here on Open. 